Most certainly too. So I got this this uh, Miskyco 17 sitting right here. Um, as you know, we got the coronavirus going on and um, they just shut down Michigan yesterday. So the Motor City shut down, um, but um, I still got to go to work tomorrow. Today's uh, my only day off from this coronavirus. Uh, so I got to be back in the trenches tomorrow, but I got one day off to play with my stuff, you know, have fun, keep my hands busy, keep my mind off of crazy stuff, you know. Uh, this is kind of like ripping and not tripping to me. Shout out to my man, Corey, Jordan. So here we go. So what I did uh, with this uh, Miss Geico 17, which is a really sweet looking boat. Beautiful, every size of it. Um, this is just a 17, it comes brushed. As you know, this is one slow, good looking boat, period. So I went brushed twice in this thing, you know? So I wish uh, I would have picked something else, like a real boat from the beginning. <laughs> Uh, the boat that I'm getting ready to get right now is an Octodine Marine. Uh, he has one that's self-riding right now, a Dominator. That's my next one. But while we on this one, uh, and then I got a couple upgrades I want to talk about uh, with the Arrow, the White Arrow. Um, shout out to uh, my homeboy, uh, 10 Gallon 81. Um, this is this is a. Uh, um, Right now, I'm just focused on this. I ended up putting trim tabs on this thing because when I went brushless, uh, you know, I, I was pouring the power around like 85%, uh, you know, and it would, you know, do, you know, it would lift on the left side. So I ended up putting uh, stainless, stainless uh, trim tabs on it. Just finished installing it this morning. And then uh, another thing uh, I wanted to address was the hatch. Uh, the hatch doesn't lock down as uh, uh, good as the rest of them. Like my Sonic Wake has the knobs on it on the rear you see there. And then um, I end up uh, just finding a piece of stainless in my hobby shop, which like $1.99, let's see it. Yeah, that's the part number right there size so i just went an inch and a half you know and uh you know put some epoxy five minute epoxy once i got it all set it's been sitting like this for like two days and that's it right there and then the knobs uh the knobs are off of um I think the Miss Geico 36 is what I got the, the hatch knobs off of. So it comes in a pack of four. Um, let me see if I can find the part number for that. Here we go. Ride with me. Got some Pro Boat stuff here. So, let's see. This is the part number. So it's like 11 bucks for four of them. Yeah. Let me see if they got a part number. No part number on this sucker. But it's off the 36 knob. So um, I think it's a really good, uh, you know, functional piece. And it looks pretty cool. I like it. Um keeps it all sealed in i mean it locked in it has the pin and then i added a, a piece of uh fuel tubing on it to um, let me know when i'm already out of it i'll spin it out for you once i see the screws she feels loose I don't know if I show this or not, but that's flex seal in there. Um, Double-sided tape. Uh, hold down the power switch. Uh, the engine that I, the motor that I used on this was off a of Requo 17. You know the little red boat. 
Um, you know, because that, that boat was really fast. You know, even though this boat is a lot heavier, um, it fits a, a brush. Uh, I went with a 45 C rating, 1300 milliamp brush, uh, you know, LiPo battery. Um, and it fits right in there. Hatch closed is good, you know. Uh, I already chopped this before. And then, like I said in my other video, I only milled out the top a little when I had the Traxxas motor and I had a CT, uh, 110 scale CT, a short course truck brushless uh, motor, which I should have kept in it. Because if I would have, if I would have had the um, Spectrum set up in my DC5, I have could have toned it down, detuned it a little bit. Uh, once I get to like 80%, I could have like, you know, stopped it or either run it on 75% power on a stock spectrum. But um, um, the antenna on this is a tactic um, and it doesn't need uh, an antenna. Uh, I think I had that on it before and I've switched it back and forth. Um, I already sold my recoil, got rid of that. I was trying to get rid of all my E-word stuff. Um, but one thing about it, uh, the boats, that's where it's at. This is uh, the only cat that I have. And uh, um, I have my wife's arrow, which I'm gonna address here in a second. Um, I have another cable um, that I wanted to go, cause I wanted to go cable. This is a solid piece. Um, collet's been changed over as an upgrade on collets. Um, that's not the stock collet, but, uh, when you get this motor, you have to buy this piece, this part, which I have an extra one there. So, and then when you, they have set screws inside of it, make sure you lock tight those set screws. Uh, I was testing it last week and then it frayed one of my wires right there, which I'm gonna have to, you know, seal that up. Uh, make, hopefully I didn't you know, lose any resistance or gained any resistance. Um, motor sets are good. I had to stack this up a little bit. I just took me some regular, you know, wood from my hobby shop, sealed it all, epoxy, and then I put flex seal on it. Uh, I think I'm gonna flex seal the whole inside of it or uh, coat it with a marina coating. Um, this boat does not have clear coating on it. So when I put hatch tape on it, because I kept losing the hatch, um, you know, cause there's only one small little pin in it and the front nose. And then the magnet is right there in the center. It's not enough, it's not strong enough. So um, that's why I end up ad adding these, these, uh, Hatch uh, lock nuts, uh, stainless came out sweet. I'm I'm happy. Uh, another gripe is when you hit something in the water, this flings out, which is kind of cool. But this thing ain't going that fast. There's a small pin right there. I'm gonna put a, a pin in that. Um, you know, and it goes all the way through and seal that up. You know. You know, I don't know if I want to go with a small breakaway like uh, my bigger boats, but uh, I end up sharpening the tip of uh, the coolant, the coolant uh, holes. Um, comes right off the prop. This is a two blade prop. I don't know if this came with a, a two blade. I think it was a three blade. Um, I, I want to switch it to one of these cables instead of a solid, you know, which this is out of the arrow. It's eight and three quarters long. Um, uh, this is for 10 gallon, um, uh, 81. Um, so that that size for that is this. It's a product number off Offshore Electric, uh, and it goes into an Impulse 31V. That's the upgrade cable. It's a 150 cable. Um, 316 shaft and it comes with a nylon uh, um, uh, uh, cable uh, cover. Comes with everything besides the collet. Um, I haven't measured the engine, but I'm pretty sure you can probably measure it right off off the bat. Um, 
that's easy. And then this is adjustable and you got a set screw uh, on the tip of this. And then when you, before you set it, you do a test fit and then you grind it. Shout out to uh, uh, JJ, um, check him out. Um, yeah, I like this boat. Uh, one thing that's blowing me away is that this isn't clear coated. Like I said, I know I'm crying about it, but it is what it is. This thing needs to, I don't know, I want to shoot it all white and then put the graphics on it. Um, Geico, the real boat. I mean, it's a sweet color. How, you, you can't miss it. This thing is iconic. Um, put this hatch back on here. And just spin your knobs. And this baby ain't coming. I mean, I, I it's so fast I had to um, I mean, it's, it's a lot faster. It's, the haul can't take, take it, you know, uh, when I pull it a hundred percent, it, it, it just phew, up, you know, if I could dumb it down a little bit, like the stock spectrum controllers, but it's a tactic. It's just like something extra. I got like 10 controllers in there. I'm not using because I end up switching over to my DX5 C. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm impressed. The The boat's a lot faster than it was stock. I got my wife this boat originally, which that's what she ended up getting um, the arrow for to replace this. She got tired of it. She went on Amazon, find the arrow, which they're fast and they're self-riding. Uh, sounds crazy when you pull it. I don't know what's up with the ESC in that thing, but... And then upgrade the cable. But if you up, if you grease your cables... It, um, properly in the shaft and the Teflon tube, I mean, you'll never have a problem. It won't snap on you if you take care of it. Always pull these things out every day. Uh, Oxidy Marine, he prefers you to pull it out and let it sit for like two or three days before you put the hatch back on it, you know, to stop it from mold and everything. I saw his, his shafts, he went with a piano-like shaft and he's got three bearings that slide on them with these O-rings that are O-ring stoppers. Top of the line. Those are the best boats, RTRs, that you can buy in the world. Shout out to Bill Oxidine Marine. Awesome dude. Uh, check him out, man. He's got a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to get on first on this list. I just dropped like another $200 in the hobby shop yesterday. That could have went towards my boat. Uh, hopefully I'm able to pull the trigger, especially now that I have to work during this coronavirus thing. Uh, so I'm about to stack my chips and then, you know, do that. I love to be in Alabama right now, but it is what it is. Oh, oh another thing too, if you're running electric or anything that you got to charge, you want to these squids. 18. Look at that. Progressive RC. You know, instead of me having to switch you know switch adapters and you know boom you know just to do everything that thing it's got everything on it uh, another thing i just upgraded to while we don't on it on channel i went to an mtc clutch on my tracks it's 40 millimeter uh flywheel kit if you're going to do this and you got a stock car if you got to sh shave the front of the car if you want to be able to take it off that's a stock clutch uh clutch shoe two shoe with the spring in it stock flywheel whatever size that is um you know hey if you're going that route man you know i, I might as well tell you right now 40 millimeters just i mean you're two millimeters too thick to pull your carburetor off while it's on the vehicle or you know you can't get around it um uh, We'll get into that at another date. Uh, thanks for checking out my uh, Miss Geico 17. If anybody's wondering any questions on how to make this thing a little bit faster, I'm gonna have to get a video. Uh, I'm off today. I mean, it looks pretty cold. Uh, let's see what this pond's looking like. It don't look that bad. Yeah. Well, let's see. Step. All right. Not bad. Let's see that pond looks a little better. Yeah. 
gonna run in that pond probably. Okay. Yep, so it's Geico. 17. I ain't gonna hold y'all up to give y'all something to watch, man. I know y'all bored like I'm bored. Uh one thing about this too, these uh spontons on the bottom. I mean, I could rough them up a little bit, but I don't think they're functional. I think they're just, you know, to replicate what they actually look like on the bigger uh, Miss Geico's. But, you know, I don't know. Hopefully this does the job. I'm gonna have to do some testing and tuning. You know, hopefully I got it set right. Yeah, that should hold it down. I'll let y'all know. That's the only cat I have. I, I'm a, I'm a B-Hall fan, straight up. All right. Cook racing. I'll holler at y'all. You know, peace.